another sub request. We're going to recreate the prism effect as seen here in the music video. Once you click on your timeline, you're going to go into your color page. Once in the color page, you're going to have, you should have one node. You're going to hit Alt S to create a secondary node. With the secondary node, you're going to go into the effects library and you're going to search for the prism effect. With the prism blur effect found, you're going to drop it on your secondary node and you adjust the settings within the inspector tab to your liking. I'm going to drop the strength down and I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. Bring up the aberration distance. I'm going to make it really, really come out. Yeah. Increase the strength. Pretty much creating the rainbow, giving the colors. This little small indicator here actually will show you where the effect is taking place. If you go into the windows tab, which is four from the left, you can select the pen tool and draw out your subject, or you can select the circle mask tool. With the circle mask tool, it will show you everywhere the effect is taking place. Within the power window, you're gonna hit the invert tool. And it's gonna make it invert the mask, so the, mask, the effect will take place everywhere but the mask. Now you can just leave your indicator in the middle if you want, and play the clip outs and everything in the middle will not be affected, or you can track it. And tracking is really easy in the color page. You're gonna shrink it down here, gonna go back to the first frame, gonna highlight the subject, just around our face. To the left of the power window is the tracker tab. You're gonna hit the back and forth arrow that's gonna track the clip backwards and forwards. Hit P to preview. Now the mask will take place everywhere, but what the, I mean, the effect will take place everywhere, but what the mask is. Again, you can change the settings. If you make it too blurry, it's just gonna blur everything out. You can drop it down. And just change the effects to your liking. You even can actually do a displacement by changing the, y, the X and Y axis. And that's going to do it for this video. Remember, if you have any requests, make sure to drop them down below the like button in the comment section. If you got any value out of this video, consider subscribing to the channel for future content. And hit the notification bell so you know when to upload new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.